share that with you guys. So staying in the theme of the fitness stuff, this hit my desk from Seal Grinder PT. I followed the this guy. I forget his name. Again, I should look this up before I did this podcast, but I did probably six months of some of his some of the seal grinder workouts doing trying to do some seal fit seal type training workouts and stuff uh, this was a few years ago but this this just hit my my stuff here i'm going to read a little bit of it this is this is uh seal grinder saying my text messages got blown up over the weekend with the latest sad news five members of the tufts university men's lacrosse team remain hospitalized after undergoing a workout modeled after navy seals training I don't know that they were doing seal grinder PT, but maybe they're doing, you know, whatever you think the seal should be doing. But on Monday, a Navy seal trainee conducted a voluntary 45 minute workout with 50 Tufts players resulting in 12 of them being sent to a nearby hospital. The dozen players shared a similar diagnosis of rhabdomyolysis, a life threatening condition that causes muscles to break down. Seven of them were treated in the emergency room and released while the five others remained confined. The workout was led by a Tufts alum who had recently finished the Buzz Navy SEAL training program. First off, sending healing prayers to those athletes put in the hospital. Yeah. Wow. Where do I start here as there is so much to unpack? True. I wrote an article about Rabdo to your blah, 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 blah. Rabdo can be prevented if you take the proper measure. Stay hydrated. Avoid rep repetitive motion. Be in shape for what you're doing. One or two bad ingredients and you're going to the hospital. At Buds. You never saw anyone get rhabdo ever, but that is because many safety precautions were taken. So that's not funny yet. It's kind of, but so one of the alum was is a Navy SEAL candidate, came back and was like, I'll show you guys how to train and then trained them all into the rhabdo. I've had, I think, two cases confirmed of clients that got rhabdo after some workouts. One was they they weren't really a client of mine. They were a friend of a client who came in and they did Murph with us. And he got rhabdo, I think, from his biceps. He, he's trying to do the push-ups. Murph, if you're not a, aware, is a hero workout. CrossFit's famous for, you know, doing hero workouts. But Murph is probably, you know, we joke. It's like CrossFit Christmas in that comes around on Memorial Day. Everyone does a mile run. 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, followed by a mile run, wearing a weight vest if you can. And this guy insisted on wearing his weight vest. You know, he he did the run. He came in, got through the pull-ups, start, started working on the push-ups and kind of died and went outside and was like throwing up and stuff. And I, I had told him several times, maybe maybe take off the play care here, but he insisted. And, you know, he's not my client. He signed a waiver. I've told him, told him multiple times. And then, you know, I heard a couple of days later from his friend that, oh, he had to go to the hospital. His arms were hurting so bad. And then they, he had some rhabdo. Treated him. He's fine. But the other one was a, a gym member who had been out for a while who came in and only about 50 push-ups or so. And she had uh, rhabdo. She was a doctor and self-diagnosed it. And, it. and it, you know, she swears that's what it was. But turns out it was some rhabdo in her arm, like from her Again, push-ups. So, you know, pretty proud that I've never had more people, even that we've done some seal fit, which is Coach Mark Devine. If you've listened to this podcast or read anything I've written for any length of time, you'll know I've invoked his name a lot. Mentor of mine, big fan. But you build up, right? You need to build people up. You don't just go zero to 100 in what you're doing. You don't just go from you know, nothing to three a day workouts. You don't just go from nothing to a hundred pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats with running, wearing weight vest. You have to build up for that. That's what, you know, he's saying that, you know, seals and buds, he never saw rhabdo once. That's because they, you know, buds is the famous, you know, week long hell week and all that stuff. But like, they don't just, you don't just sign the paper and then go to hell week. I mean, there's like a year or two of build up, working out, getting there, before you go off and do something like that just like with our black belt tests in the karate that we the martial arts that we practice famously it's a three-day test i've tested my first black belt three days but you don't just go into that having done, done nothing you you have done previous testing you've worked out you have to go to the gym we have your blood levels tested and all that kind of stuff before you do that 
and we make sure you're safe. The same thing in the CrossFit gym. You have to make sure you're safe if you're not, you know, if you walk in and you see the workout, some crazy hour long workout and you've only been there a week or two, you know, hopefully your coach doesn't let you do it. Hopefully your coach scales you down or, or changes the time frame or has you do some different things. But if, you know, the coach isn't doing that, then you, you know, you need to take some safety into your own hands too. This is funny in the sense that I bet, you know, they made these, these, these guys and gals do this, or maybe they were trying to live up to this guy that was showing off for them or whatever. It's just, it's kind of funny. You can protect yourself from this. It's not something to be super afraid of as long as you sort of take care of yourself and, you know, ask, ask, ask a coach, ask someone about this. I mean, they may, may huff and puff and they don't like you bringing the word up, but you know, if it's something you're concerned about, bring it up. I mean, why wouldn't you?